hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. What you say? Oh, geezer, oh, geezer, don't treat me so mean. You're the meanest man that I've ever seen. I guess if you said so, I'd have to pack my bag and go. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. And don't you come back no more. And don't you come back no more. That's a bit like saying crime is a disease, isn't it? Yeah, if a certain person is criminal because of their brain chemistry. Mm, this is where things get blurry. People who engage... <laughs> Farrington, Barnes and Lambert, 1996. They looked at a group of young males, each of whom had a close relative with a criminal conviction. For example, the father. 53% of those with a criminal conviction went on to be convicted offenders themselves. 53%. That's more. Oh, excuse me, Dr. Ulrich. Harriet, uh, you've met Lincoln Swift? Yeah. Uh, one of our postdocs? Yeah, yeah, you, um, you came to one of our tutorials. Half of it. He's running the two this week. Harriet is one of our top students. I'll read it. I'll read it. You know, to make you feel better. To make them... They're not making eye contact. <laughs> A good liar. Hello. Hey, Blondie, Froro, on the phone. You want to stay on the phone or get out? Oh. Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bark at you. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Hey, can, whoa, we, whoa. can we talk? Sorry, whoa, Rankin! What is wrong with you? Well, who is she? How do you know her? John! John! I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Tell me about your friend. Who is she? Why? Because I need to know. It's part of a research project I'm doing. I do outreach work for my social science strand. Say it again in English. I visit brothels, interface with sex workers, health and welfare. She's a hooker. Sex worker. How do you know her? It's, it's a long story. Where does she work? The Blue Cerise in town. I only met her a few days ago. I went in and I handed out a few pamphlets and then they got turfed up by management. They're not exactly social worker friendly. And she rings me this morning out of the blue. She says she's on campus and she's freaking out. Why? Why? What's the problem? I'm not sure. You turned up and freaked her out even more. Can I ask you something? Are you a cop? <laughs> Undercover? Why? Why would you say that? Because. You're the weirdest tutor ever. Hey. I'm a good tutor. How do you know you're Harriet? Actually, yeah.